Hey guys, what's happening? So, thought I would uh, talk about uh, these Mach 3 uh, controller cards, the breakout boards, and a couple different versions I have here, and what I've learned so far. Um, my background, I'm an IT guy. I've been an IT guy for 20 years, so I'm used to dealing with Arduinos, uh, you know, Raspberry Pis, so I'm really familiar with like, the processor designs and how to program them. But, uh, so Mach 3 is typically, if you're not familiar with it, is traditionally, in the olden days, was running on a printer port, LPT port. And so these newer USB designs actually emulate a USB. So I currently have uh, my almost finished my Mach 3 build here. And I actually have a, a more well-documented red card here with the same thing. All, there's one thing they all have in common, these uh, USB cards is they actually use an ARM processor uh, I'm not sure if that's 32-bit, I think it's 32-bit but it uses an ARM processor to translate uh, pulses coming from Mach 3 into uh, LPT port or printer port signals which is the default for Mach 3 so but I wanted to show you the difference between a high-end card and a low-end card so this the typical low-end cards will actually have uh, you know maybe like four outputs, four inputs um, I actually originally had started with this one, but it didn't have, for some reason, the spindle didn't work right. It could never get the, the pulse width modulated output. The 12, it wouldn't do 0 to 10 volt. It would only do, you know, 0 to 12 volt. Um, so that's actually why I stepped over this one, because it could use a reference, 10 volt reference. Um, so actually, if you are going to be using one of these lower end cards, get the red card. I mean, there's definitely, there's some annoyances here, you know, like there's no dedicated 5 volt, um, for the, for the steppers, so you have to actually put them all together, combine them into one wire, but but like I said, if you want to use your spindle control, then it's a no-go. Um, at least both with, you know, 0 to 10 volts is no-go. Um, but let me show you this other card, which is going to be a future, um, I don't know if you're actually buying a full-blown, like, CNC machine. Uh, I'm actually looking at, like, an older brother, a TC228, um, but it's a massive, like, full-blown, like, real CNC machine. And but so I needed a card with a lot of inputs and outputs. So this is actually considered a smooth stepper card. And I, it's, I'm trying to find the reason why it's smooth stepper. I know that it, it actually generates better pulses to the, to the driver motors or the steppers. Um, but one thing I've noticed in common with all these uh, smooth stepper cards is they have a secondary processor. This is an Altera chip. Um, and this can also emulate more printer ports. So that's why I can actually have more inputs. And they're all opto-isolated. So when you hear the term opto-isolated, um, it's referring to an opto-coupler. So an opto-coupler is, they do that to isolate circuits. So let's say you're isolating your 5-volt circuit from your 12-volt circuit. Um, so it's like having a TV remote. Like you're not actually touching the TV, you know? You're controlling the TV with a remote. That way you're physically separated between the two. There's no wires, you, there's nothing you connecting you to the TV physically. Um, so that's the same concept as an optocoupler. You're, you're isolating the circuits. Um, okay, so this is a, uh, what's is, what is amazing about this card is I found it on Amazon for 25 bucks. And this same card sells on like AliExpress or Alibaba for like 150 bucks, 170 bucks. Saw a couple different sites for like 170 bucks. But I don't know why they were selling for 25. So, I mean, I got a, either a blazing good deal or this thing is broken. So I should probably fire it up and test it, but I want to, I need something with a lot of inputs. So that's why I got this thing. But at, at the time, I didn't know what a smooth stepper card was. I just got lucky I bought it. Because I thought it looked cool. It looked like it had a lot of stuff on it. But yeah, this thing is actually, uh, and actually, this thing actually came with some documentation. Whereas these other cards, they come with a CD and there's hardly any documentation. Well, these actually guys printed out a, a thing. So this thing actually has like a, I think that's for the uh, MPG, the, the wheel. But yeah, nice, nice paper thing here. Um, it's in, well, that, that side's Chinese, this side's English. Yeah, if, I, I mean, I'd put a link down below. I could put a link down below my original thing if they ever restock them, but I don't think you're going to find this for 25 bucks like I did. So I was, I didn't know until later how good of, how much of a score I got there. So... Um, yeah, because I think this thing can control a spindle directly. So let's say if you had like a 24 volt spindle. Um, I'm just kind of looking through. If you control, it must be connected to 24. Yeah, 24 volts. But I think this was like some kind of spindle control. 
uh, multiple power. Um, yeah, these are opto isolated, but yeah, a lot of inputs. Remark two. What is remark two? Oh, you can. Exp it's an expansion port. So net port is a standard Monbus machine expansion scale. Yes, yeah, so you can. Ex you can scale it to so more inputs, but um, I, I wouldn't even know where to buy the expansion port. It looks like it might have a relay too. So some sort of relay. I mean, it looks like a pretty small relay, so I don't think you'd be able to put like a 110 volt through it. Um, or at least a lot, not, not a lot of amps. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what these things are for the the power, the the three pin connectors. Yeah, I'll figure that out. But um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of left out with this thing. Um, yeah, so like I said, all the smooth stepper cars I've seen so far have your you have your your USB converter processor like this one. This is just a, a bigger version of that. And that translates to the uh, USB to the uh, thing, and then this is a secondary processor, which I think controls all the extra inputs and uh, printer ports. Uh, but yeah, supposedly it can actually uh, it can run at a higher frequency, and like I said it has a better pulse step training. That's what they said. It's just not a lot of documentation, not really specific on what each thing does. So, all right, so that's the difference between all these USB controllers that I can see so far. Um, yeah, you'll be in upcoming videos. You'll see what I'm what I'm up to. <laughs> it's gonna take half my garage up, probably. All right, cool.